So we've seen the proofs that root 2 and root 3 are irrational, and we've seen that they can be extended up to root 5, root 7, root 11, etc. But how about if we needed a proof that the cube root of 2 is irrational? OK, so we're going to go along the same lines as we've done before. So our, we will assume that the cube root of 2 is rational. So the cube root of 2 can be written as a fraction of a over b, where a and b are integers, and a over b is a fraction in its simplest form. OK, now if we take that cube root of 2 is equal to a over b, then we can cube both sides. So 2 is equal to a cubed over b cubed. And consequently, 2b cubed is a cubed. So that means that a cubed has a factor of 2. So therefore, a cubed has a factor of 2. And that implies that a has a factor of 2. OK, that's through the prime factorization of this. Um, right, so if a has got a factor of 2, we can write a as 2 lots of k, where k is an integer. OK, so we've got that 2b cubed must be equal to 2k cubed. So 2b cubed is equal to 8k cubed. And so b cubed is equal to 4k cubed. So that means that b cubed has a factor of 2. In fact, it has a factor of 4. So it has a factor of 2. And that implies that b has a factor of 2. OK, so if A and B both have a factor of 2, then A over B, that fraction that we had up here, could not have been in its simplest form. And that is the contradiction. So therefore, the cube root of 2 is irrational. And so you can see that this follows identical steps to the root 2 proof. Um, really, it is precisely the same thing. It's just yet more practice of going through those familiar stages.